Hello viewers, you are welcome to this video. Today I want to share with you 8 reasons why some students fail in mathematics. 8 reasons why some students fail in mathematics. Some students fail in mathematics, one, because of bad foundation. Yes, because of how the person was first introduced to mathematics. You see, if you are not properly introduced to mathematics from day one, you lose interest in the subject. You hate mathematics. Some students also fail in mathematics because of laziness. They don't want to work. Yes, they don't want to work. You give them assignment they will not do. Tell them to do exercise they will not do. And because of that, they fail. Some also fail because of shyness. You see, if you are shy, if there's something you don't understand in class, you can't ask. You can't ask. Are you seeing it? So some students fail because of shyness. If there is a, a colleague, eh? if there is a colleague who understands the concept and you, you don't understand, you see, you feel shy, the person will feel shy to approach that person for help. So shyness is also one of the causes. Now another reason is that the students fail because of lack of concentration, lack of concentration in class. A student can be in a class and then be touching the phone, be, be doing so many other things, be talking, be doing other things. So, lack of concentration is one of the reasons why some students fail. Yes, because my parents decide that if you miss even one point, one statement, they can affect everything. Now, the next point is low confidence. Some, some students fail in mathematics because of low confidence. They don't believe in themselves. When it gets to exams, because of low confidence, they cannot perform. They cannot perform. So, low confidence is one of the reasons why some students fail. Some students also fail in mathematics because of ineffective teaching methods. Yes. This time, it's not coming from the students. It's coming from the teachers who teach the subject. So, some teachers are not well versed in the subject. So they will just enter the classroom and teach whatever they know. If there's a particular uh, topic that person knows, almost every day, the person will teach that topic. Yes. And then, there are some people who know the mathematics all right, but they don't know how to to impart to, to others. Some teachers who assume that, oh, then you know this. Eh? You don't teach that way. Eh? You don't teach that way. If you teach that way, there will always be a problem and your students will always fail. You never understand. Yes. And at times, teaching is not only when you go and then you are solving questions. No. Even the way you talk to the students, do you find your face? Do you make the students smile? Yes, there are some there are some teachers, as soon as they enter the classroom, some of the, the, the students will just be panicking. How do you relate with the, the students? Do eh? you smile when you are teaching? Because mathematics is such that so many people are afraid of mathematics. So if you're a mathematics teacher, and then you, you don't make the, the, the class interesting, and eh? then students are likely to fail your course. Yes. Okay, now, some students also fail because of lack of good reading, reading materials. You see, the person is willing to learn, but there are no good reading materials for the person. So because of that, uh, the uh, student okay, is likely to fail or can fail. Now, finally, some students fail because they are arrogant. They are too proud. They are not humble. They are not submissive enough. If there is something they don't understand, they can approach someone, a colleague, who understands. And because of this, they fail in essence. Yes. 
Thank you very much for your attention, viewers. For more of this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shamala Jim.